Hello everyone, welcome to another Void update. Tonight's update will cover character models and testing animations. For the character models you are seeing right now, they are NPC models. We have about 15 models made and we plan to make more for the game. With that said, what makes this update special is the fact that every character model is unique. Now, you're probably going to say, so what? Well, here's the thing. Almost all games that are made nowadays, there is a point in time where basically you run into someone that looks exactly like another character that's just a few feet away from them. And that breaks your immersion real quick. You look like an animal. All right, I can't believe you let, let me talk to him like that, but okay. I have nothing to see here, just exercising. Oh, what? Why are you back here? Hey man, I think I found your long lost twin brother. He's out on the street. This is actually a really funny... This is a problem that all developers face, including large gaming companies. The most recent example I can think of is Telltale's Batman game, where in one section of the game, there is literally three clones running alongside with each other trying to get you. So for our game, every character, that includes the main characters, the enemies, and even the NPCs in the background, everyone will look different and dress differently, unless they are wearing a work uniform, like a medical researcher or a mercenary. But besides that, everything's going to be different. At this point, we are not done with the main character design, so we won't be showing that in this video. But maybe in a future video. Now the testing animations. For right now, this is going to be the character model for the Miraculi Mercenaries. This will most likely be changed for the main game. The animations you are seeing right now are test animations. This is used to see whether or not the skeletal rigs are working fine with our suit. Now, since these are test animations, obviously these won't be in the demo. So, I mentioned something about a suit. So just recently, I just got Perception Neuron. What is Perception Neuron? Well, it's a motion capture suit that developers use to record their every move and then convert it to an animation to put in their game. And trust me, it's a time saver. But I can't say the same money-wise because I got the most expensive version of this suit which was $1,500 plus $100 in shipping overseas. So overall, I spent $1,600 on this thing. I also have an Intel RealSense 3D camera, which also captures movement. This cost me about $100. With this camera, I have the same setup as FaceShip. So, not only will I have realistic body animations, but I will also have smooth, natural looking facial animations as well. And that covers just about everything for tonight. I know we were talking about AI for a while, but programming AI takes a lot of time and research. So, AI might be shown on Friday's update. Might be because tomorrow I don't have work, so that will be the first thing I'll do when I wake up, is working on the AI system. We will be posting our next update Friday, and thank you for watching.